Hello again, and welcome back to Dino Crisis. So in our last video, that T-Rex destroyed our helicopter, and Dr. Kirk escaped from us. But we managed to make our way to the third floor of the basement for another escape route, where hopefully we can find Gale on the way back. And yes, Rick is also doing some research behind me. So enough chit-chat, let's go over there and do some more investigating. But before we do anything else, make sure you leave that like, comment down below, subscribe, and press that notification bell to get notified. And I failed to mention this in my last video, that my goal is to reach 100 subscribers. So with that out of the way, let's go over here and get something from this box, sort things out, and... Do a little mixing up. To Darth. And let me get my shotgun because I'm pretty sure that there's something gonna be oh, behind this room door. It's a small sized vehicle that has crashed into the shutter. Well, that explained that big den over there. And is that almost a umbrella symbol? Umbrella symbol on each side of that sign? Or whatever. And I'm sure that something's gonna happen around here. Oh, we found one of those resurrection box. I'll take that as well. Thank you. And there's a card over there. Disc, whatever. And we've met ourselves a new enemy. Dinosaur enemy. That was a close one. Let me just take care of him before he can get to me. Now let's go up in this ladder, just to show something. It's a light switch, that cranked operating room. Alright, so in here, you're going to have to operate a crank, similar to the one in the last video. And just like, oh, just like that, you're going to have to use three different crank, three crank cards that are needed. So we're going to do exactly like that and find the last remaining crank card. And that takes care of him too. Now let me just get this. Because I'm sure there's more of these dinosaurs. I don't know what kind of cold. Those kinds of cold. Got ourselves the remaining key c crank cards, excuse me, as well as the carry out area of the area key. Ugh. I can't speak. So head back to this area and go up to that crank operating panel thing. And let's move things out of the way. And I noticed that the camera went closer by me, so... Yeah, it doesn't matter what, which kind you choose, it's gonna select all. So, similar to the last puzzle, just move these things out of the way to get through. And I'm going to have to silence this video for a moment. to concentrate.
All right, that's done. Now let's go over there and get that card. I mean disc. Get that all wrong because disc and card isn't exactly the same thing. I mean, based on the si size, I mean, not size, shape. It's just confusing. And let me get this out of the way. Thank you very much. And no, he doesn't have anything in. So let's head back over there. And for some reason, this thing isn't there anymore. That's whatever. And let's see if we can try to get more of this stuff to make more something. Now let's get out of here. <laughs> Let me see if I have enough. Oh, more grenades, okay. That's fine. By me. good. Literally, I can't speak today because I feel full because I ate something earlier. That's why it's hard for me to breathe while I'm common and all that. I'm not going to get any detail with that because more of these things shut you right in the ass. And that was a close one. There's another one of these map. And I bet that that big guy is going to come straight out of that thing door. Because it's close to it. Ah, at least I found another plug. A female researcher with white robe and smear red with blood. No kidding. I guess not. Hold up for a moment. No, I guess yes. <laughs> and my sh aim sucks. My aim literally sucks. And it looks like there's an elevator right there. But I'm not going to be going over there. It is an... It is the Aryan photograph of Ibis Island. This picture is, is of the entire island. Kind of looks like Africa. Alright, enough said. We got ourselves another one of these puzzle. But I guess I don't have the other disc, so let's go find it. Great, more of these. 
these things. Pretty hard to dodge these giant guys. I'll skip you guy. And there's a card right there. Looks like I'm carrying a weapon, so I'll go into this office and find a thing to shut it down. There it is. Doesn't matter which monitor, just shut it off. There you go. Now, let's see. I'll read this, I guess. All about nothing. Another plug. And this B this key card of some sort. Doesn't have number. Her throat has been crushed. It looks like we need the ID card for somebody. Well, we do not. Let's just try to use one of these actual ID card just to see if it works. Depending on which she use it kind of hard. It has the same digits. So, just for the heck of it, wrong one. This shows the correct one. 31415. But it won't work because you don't have the fingerprint of the person responsible for it. So looks like we're not to press something in there. And these things are the panels to put this one key slot. But we're just going to keep it for now. Another one of this thing. S. So it looks like we can't go over there. Bummer. Of course not, but we could certainly go into the vent. Yeah, hiss on somebody else. And you need some tic tac. So, g basically, I didn't have any. We can't go over there into that doorway. So we're gonna have to go into the vent. So go over here, and there's one of the door vent as well in this part, but it's locked in the outside, so we're not going to go over there. Let's just check how much of these I need. Just one, and the other one, two. We'll just come back for it later. Kirk's running out of places to hide. Okay, that was pretty random to say, and real quick too. But at least Gail was still alive, that's for sure. And we found another one of these journal. Two, 
six point accidental. I don't think it's an accident. Let me see if there's any anything hidden around here. Oh yes, there's a computer panel that leads you to the escape route, one of the escape route, but you're going to have to find a card. It's a very similar puzzle with that. Maybe find another one of these plugs too. <laughs> Okie dokie. I guess that's everything around here. Now let's see what's over there in this plugs. <sighs> I really can't speak right now. Sorry about that. Let me just sort some of these weapons. Get rid of this. Uh, keep. Mm -hmm. That's good for now. Now let's try to open this one too. That seems good for now. And switch this. I guess this doesn't seem to work, so it looks like we're going to have to come back with this one as well later. But... There's a card right over there. We're just gonna have to pick it up some later. Or not. Just pick it up now. Just um, check. Hey. <laughs> uh, it's right there in that vent thing. Okay, I guess not. I guess so. And we got ourselves another new enemy, the Super Raptor. Luckily I'm prepared. Get this, see if I can go in now. I guess I can. Stabilizer design room. Alright, so it looks like we have everything we need. And there's yet another book. Talking about the generator. Initializer. I can't get that pronounced right. And the stabilizer. <laughs> that sucks. Sucks that I can't pronounce it right. And this here is the panel disc. Planning disc is required. So you're going to use that real soon. But that's depending. You should make a choice. Optional, in other words. Part of the sun. Uh, just needed to check something. Another disc, that's good. W. And these two designs seems to be just models of... They cannot be used. I'm guessing the models of initializer and stabilizer. It's just models, so yeah, again, nothing useful. And this is also required planning disc. So we got what we need. The card. Disc, I meant. So let's get back up to that ventilation. Let's see. W, that's right. 
Let's just head to that area with the hallway, office. See if I can block one of these two guys and the other one that's blocking my way. Or not. <laughs> nice try, but not close enough. Finally, the shutters now work. Now we can try to dodge. Another plug. Let me see if they can... Nope, I can't. Uh -huh, you're trapped. Pretty simple once you know how to do this. Alright, so now that we're here, let's do the password thing. And that password is... Waterway. Just to be sure. Way. And there you go. Now let's see what this is place is about. It's locked tight, so of course it won't open. And I've popped my jaw. It doesn't actually hurt, but you kind of get used to it once you do it no winner's time. Anywho, let's see what... Oh, hey, Rick. It looks like this door leads to the port. Hmm. It'll take a while before I can pop this open. You copy, Mike? I found the key to the port, but I got a lizard riding on my tail. I'm heading to the main elevator right now. I'll meet it at the ground level. Hurry! Huh. Sounds like we're not the only ones having problems. I'm glad you're amused. But if that guy gets eaten, we're going to have to retrieve the key from that dinosaur's stomach. You've got to save him. Alright, so now we're going to have to go all the way to that area we just came in to get the card. So let's do that, but let's just take this other card. Another second one. Slot card thing. No, I'm not here to save. I'm here to go over there and see what this is about. I'm pretty sure there's more of these things in the way. I don't really I really don't want to deal with them. Well, one of them, because I already killed the other one. Yeah, it's not that far. See? Alright, buddy, let's see what problems, what goodies you got for me. And... The light seems to be messing up. Oh boy. unexpected all 
Okay, so it looks like that T-Rex just knocked himself unconscious. It says right here. However, it seems to be breathing very slowly. That's pretty odd because its eyes is wide open and there's no way it can just... Well, I don't want to come near its head because otherwise it's just going to bite me. Anyway, once the power is already destroyed, we cannot go over it further because the generator to support power to open the door is out. So what do you do? Go around this area and take out one of the batteries that that generates the whole thing. And head to that room earlier ago to put it in. Put it back where it was because we just that's where we took it. And just like before, another puzzle similar to that. Red, blue, green, white. And let me see if there's a... Startup battery. I didn't, I didn't read it too well. So let's just get this over with. Simple as that. And we're done. Easy as pie. Now that's done, head back outside to open that shutter and get what we need. So much mess that that T-Rex did. We got the port card key, but he's been torn apart by that Tyrannosaurus Rex. As well, another one of this card <sighs> disc. I always get that wrong. Thank you for the plug. And looks like this is already a wreck because of that. I won't be in, it would be impossible to activate it again. No doubt about it, of course. So head back to Rick and give them the port card. Simple as that. Of course, I doubt that they're just going to forget about the people who died for that card. To approach you or done mention them so yeah that's that's a pretty mean move to make but yeah we've already taken care of that so let's go see Rick see if he can open that port thing Make a wish. So how are we supposed to get around this thing? Either we find a way or we both end up as dino droppings. Not funny. Okay, I'll pull up any relevant data on the computer. Regina, you search around for any possible clues or leads. Will do. And we 
we found another one of these cards, so let's head to that control room earlier before. And see if we can get that right. This is looking good. Our only chance may be to use the third energy. Okay. So while Rick is doing another more research there. Let's go back to that office upstairs. Pretty simple enough. They're still over there? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Hope you're enjoying yourselves. And yeah, let me try to do the same thing with that raptor upstairs. Very enlightening. Yeah, that's what you get. Wait for it. That's not what I was... Okay, so that music means that I'm almost dying, so... Let me just get my help. There we go. So once you hear the music going faster and changing all that, that means your health is very low. Same nod to the Resident Evil games and all. Damn, why do I keep doing that? Yeah, that's right. And I am bleeding. Peachy. Alright, so now that we got what we need, let's put on this password thing. And that password for the S is Stabilizer. S-T-A-B... B. I L I Z E R There we go. Part storage, okay. Takes care of that, even though that was a waste of time. Before we get any further, let's head to this area that we didn't check. That's back in the experimental room. You can't get me, bitch. Stabilizer and experimental room. And there's another one of these lizards. Let me see. Let me see if I can mix something up. No, I cannot. But at least it's enough to take care of this. Actually, you know what? There's another one of this panel thing, so... If I'm not mistaken, I say that it's one, two, eight, one. And would you know, it's another new part for the shotgun. 
Spaz 12. So let's just use this. The Spaz 12 is filled with a stock. So that makes it more powerful with the shotgun and me. Now, you know what? We've already taken care of... Did we? I think so. Go to sleep. And it does not work, so... Yeah, while that lizard is having a nappy time, let's try to get out of here. Just to be sure. Let's see. Okay, that's good. So I got two D's disc. Yeah, keep hissing. You're gonna just waste more time getting me. There's something over there, but we we cannot get into it because we don't have the card. But we found another one of this, so... This is a D, so the password for this one is Dr. Kirk himself. There we go, and that concludes the entire password for this panel puzzle thing. So let's just see what this leads me. Passageway. Slot is required, so... The slot that we found earlier, make sure you get that. Okay, so basically you cannot go activate, just give me a sec. <laughs> Alright, so the slot that you found earlier before, head back to the area that we just came from again, because that's pretty reckless of me checking back and forth. I thought I knew better. So yeah, go back into the office again and those panels that we saw earlier in the other side. Make sure you press, go over there and place all the things there. So place both panel on each side, like the last time. And go into the monitor to press this thing. I believe this has three, no, I mean not four, but five digit, or maybe four, I think. Six, no, it's not okay, so let's try this again. I think it's the one with the panel thing. Of, of course. Now let's rewrite it, and just like in the other thing, we have another puzzle, and just like the other one from before, previous video, you have to do the same thing. Now the thing, now the difference in this one though, however, you can switch some of these up. Let me just reorganize this first before we go any further. here and try switching to one of these block things. And you're done. Let me just rewrite the 
data and see if we can start over again for the slots. Okay, so now that's done, let's head back to the area from which we came and see if this works this time. kind of slow minded with memories and all so just like before I'm guessing the number rather one that worked okay and place the other one here and that seems to open it Third energy area basement B2. Rick, I've located the main generator of the third energy. Great. See if you can activate it. Of course we can. Let's just go with this thing. and see if we can get up there and activate it. A welcome greeting. How very nice. How very nice. And let's see if we can activate this thing. I guess not. Let's see. We press this button. Of course, because nothing happened. Certain preparation has to be made before pushing the switch. No doubt about it. Okay, and there's something you can see through, so... Yeah. And let's just check over here, see what else is there. Locked on the other side. Third floor of the energy. Third energy thing. So I'm guessing that you have to put all the initializer and stabilizer on these things before activating it. And another thing. Plug thing, I'm trying to say. Alright, so basically that didn't work, so we're going to have to um, go into some room to activate it now. And this thing is pretty huge. Almost looked like a ship than a generator. Actually, it's shaped as a ship, if I'm not mistaken. So basically the energy must have produced some sort of portal thing where all the dinosaurs managed to enter here. Memories are deceiving when it comes to plot. Alrighty then, let's see if we can turn this bad boy on. Up generator that controls it in something. And there's the elevator again. Okay. 
Let's see if this works. Are you serious? Well, luckily there's Emmanuel right there, so let's read it. Or not. Initializer and stabilizer. Who the figures? And I need Dr. Kirk's ID card to activate it. Another plug, nice. I'm making a streak. Let's see. All right, let me see if there's anything else here. Well, hold up. The data from the main control is shown on this display. When the main control the console is manifest malfunctioning, then the system can be operated from here. All right. And there's a level B card. And something over there. Another journal. Let's see what it says. Oh, Tom, I forgot about him. Uh, hold up. Let me try to move this out of the way, see if there's anything under it. There we go. This always gets to me whenever I'm this close to figuring out how to activate it. I gotta find something. That's done. So let's. You may control that the generator, it cannot be operated because it is in state of system lock. All right, thank you very much, Captain Obvious. Actually, I should be the one that's obvious. To be called that, I meant. Okay. Let me go in here, see if there's anything Power fre room, frequency room. Another map. I never even had a chance to look up all the map. The entire area of this facility. And what's this girl doing? She is unconscious. She is dying. Well, I don't blame her. Somehow there's something I'm missing. Another one of this file. Memo. Oh, so that was actually the password number to use the monitor, and I was right. Let's see what this is. The circuit schematic to display the stature of the emergency power supply. Currently, it is set to the basic power source of the facility. You can switch the power supply destination of the emergency power to the third energy generator. Will you switch it? Of course I will. And, of course, there's another one of this puzzle thing. Same as before. Match it up. Okay. 
And you'll get it right. I suppose he. So I wasn't. I wasn't supposed to do that. There we go. All you have to do is just press the whole thing randomly and you got your puzzle solved. So let's just check if this thing worked now. Alright system, don't fail me now. And there's the third energy over there. Starting all the system. All that is okay. Key card, of course. And there's a fire. So let's see what's going on. She's dead. She's been shot to death. She's not breathing. She's holding a memo written in blood. And that is also the pass number that we use to get the part of the shotgun, but yeah. This looks like a device that we see. Alright, so you can either go over this thing to use the blood print. Or let's try a different approach that I usually do. And I believe that Dr. Kirk seems to be behind this. And there he is. Real nice lighting over there, by the way. I think I already saw that one before, but whatever. Don't move. And what do you think you're doing? Carving a name for myself in history with the ultimate energy source. Open your eyes, you freak. Your precious creation is nothing more than another weapon to be misused. <laughs> You seem to have a small degree of superficial intelligence. It's too bad that it is wasted on one who is about to die. Rick, our target has been secured. Report here immediately. Sorry to interrupt your lecture, Doc. You were saying? Yes, I was saying. I discovered how the third energy could affect space if it ran unchecked three years ago. 
I thought that the energy had the ability to transfer selective space to an alternate time-space continuum. But I was incorrect. The space was not transferred, it was exchanged. To put it in terms that even you can understand, third energy has the ability to replace a pocket in space with one from a different time. What? Yes. I came to these conclusions following this evening's final experiment. You've seen the effects yourself. Those beasts were occupying the space this facility is located on almost 65 million years ago. Right. So that's how those dinosaurs appeared in our time. Precisely. And that is what I have done. Uh-huh. And how many people were sacrificed before you made this discovery? <laughs> Who cares? The numbers are quite irrelevant. Let's just say that there were many. Extraordinary deaths for ordinary men, don't you think? You've spoken like a true death. A god or a devil? Hmm. I don't care about that. Only my experiment. Enough. Only one thing matters at this point. Your grand invention is blocking our escape. You need to destroy the vortex. <laughs> the only way to do that is to allow the generator's third energy levels to overload. Theoretically speaking, the third energy and the vortex will cancel each other out if they come in contact with one another. But there is one small catch. If you cannot stop the generator's third energy overload, this entire region may be shifted to another point in the space-time continuum. Then we'll just make sure to be somewhere else when the shift happens. No problem. But we couldn't even activate the device. <laughs> You're missing the initializer and stabilizer, right? Where are they? Calm down. They should be stored in one of the security level A rooms on floor B3. Very good, Doc. Now you understand our situation. We live, you live. And now we have our key car for level A, so now we can get what we need into the room that we're supposed to go. And there's Rick. Okay, I'm all set to whip up a program that will send a stream of third energy into the vortex. I'll keep an eye on the doctor. Regina, you go find those devices and overload the third energy. Remember, they're in a security level A room on floor B3. Over. That whole floor is crawling with dinosaurs, including that T-Rex. Let's get this situation under control before charging on. Here, take this. This contains the draft plans for the initializer and stabilizer. I stumbled over them while searching through the database. Fortunately, the room where the parts are stored is not far from here. We should gather up the parts and assemble the devices. Don't be ridiculous. Regina doesn't have the technical knowledge for that. We don't even know if all the right parts are there. We'd be better off simply trying to hunt down the completed device. It's too dangerous down there. She won't make it. It's your call then, Regina. You're the one who has to do this. So what's your choice? Of course, I'm going to choose Rick's idea. But let me just read the strategy. Head for the basement B3 level area. Head for the parts storage on B2. So Rick is always the right choice for me. It's your show, girl. I just hope you know what you're doing. Do whatever you want. Just don't fail. I won't. And we got ourselves the planning disc. So we can use this to activate the machines to round up the initializer and stabilizer. Hey, I kind of pronounced that right. Nice. And that's right over there into one of the buildings. All right, let's see. A note from the staff, Dr. Kirk. Read it. Okay. Each side is a protected part A and D, B. And it explains the designs and whatnot. So, yeah. Alright, so before we go any further, 
headed to this area and used the device to get the fingerprint from Dr. Kirk. And there's something else over there too, so let me read it. Signature. Final weapon. Oh, so it looks like he was using it to a weapon. And we already got all the information of how the dinosaurs managed to reach this time. Based on the third energy thing that is going on. And that's good. What are you still doing here? Go get those devices. Of course. I'm just going to take care of some stuff. Don't worry about it. Just get this and there's nothing there, just a couple of junk. And let's go see Dr. Kirk. Hold up. Did you find those devices yet? <laughs> nope. But I'm just going to take a um, sample of your fingerprint. Just give me a second. Let me just move around here a little bit. All right, there we go. Now that we've got all the fingerprint of his, let's head out and go back to that office and all that. Let me just see if this actually worked. Unlock this thing. And gather up some parts. Guess I have no choice. Now that's taken care of. On to one of the rooms. Okay, so let's see what this doiki is about. Oh, of course, you're gonna have to use the disc that Rick gave you. We operate the terminal. Actually, I don't know how to use it, so. There's a. something over here. Ah. Jeez, it's been a while and I keep forgetting what I'm supposed to do in this. So, yeah. Another plug, thank you. So, a small wire tablet device. It appears to have something recorded on it. And let's just go hear it. My only concern regarding the new generator is the stabilizer. It functions perfectly under nominal conditions, but it's still a problem under certain conditions. Look, with the generous budget, personnel, and facilities at your disposal, shouldn't you be able to solve that problem? Once complete control can be established, God at our disposal, and it will all be attainable if you cooperate with me. The power of a God. How could I refuse? The combination of the beeping sound at the end of it, of the conversation is... Alright, so basically this is actually a puzzle you need to find panel over there that I just tried to activate is actually the sounds and we got another memo from Dr. Kirk and this is the same one that we just read yeah of course I gotta put this back now it's simple all you have to do is just match some of the sounds that has been recorded So, I'm 
and we got ourselves the codes for one of the things already taken care of and we got the ignitionizer and stabilizer part let's just get that out of the way part for the core this is also the part of the core fatter try turning around under here and you find something another one of this and it's one of the parts for the grenades let's just see yeah, hold up 40 millimeter HK grenade pistol okay so it looks like you can just aim shoot fire without loading actually is this the only weapon I could provide just these three shotgun handgun and grenade that's pretty weak but it is a survival horror after all so yeah kind of makes sense now let me see if I can try to reassemble all these parts you know what kiss my ass you can't get me can't you stabilizer experimental room let's see uh yeah well i'm gonna have to take care of this soon because i remember that you need all the parts so i'll be coming back real soon long hallway by the way area not hallway That was a close one. Oh, that's right. This area. Operated, so let's see what the code is. Zero. Let me try the other one. Zero, three, six, seven. All right, that's it. That was pretty simple. And we got our other part for that. Let's see if we can get another one from this place. This one's also require this. Zero two zero four. All right, so that's taken care of. Let's go back to the room over there and reassemble these parts. And I don't have time for you. Hopefully there's... The last part is in this room that we didn't check yet. And we got ourselves the last remaining pieces. And now let's head in this panel right there. Device generator, necessary info. 
Now let's reassemble all of the parts. Will you assemble the parts you have? Of course. And we got the stabilizer, the skinny one. All you have to do is put it right in exactly, align it best you can. Very simple. Now let's get the other one, initializer. Initializer. I keep pronouncing that wrong. Uh, just an example, let's try not to hit it or miss. So yeah, let's just try that again. Just don't mess up. Well, you can just try it again anyway, again and again. Nothing serious is going to happen though. I don't know how that one fat piece can fit into that other one. There we go. Now let's see. Uh, work some magic, I'm trying to say. We got ourselves the stabilizer. Now let's get ready for the ignitializer. Anilia. Nix. Ugh! I can't speak. I really cannot speak, man. Initializer. That's how you pronounce it. Well, now that's taken care of. Let's go back and put it all as thing together. However, if we do that, let's just go back to that office again and type in the codes with Dr. Kirk's fingerprint. And of course, we're going to have to call it quits for not for tonight. Wait for these guys. Thank you. I'm just going to ignore you guys and head to the office. Put on the password and call it quits. Doki, so now that's out of the way. Time to put in the ID card and same as before. Three one four ah, one five. Missing up. Here goes nothing. And it's already done. You just have to have Dr. Kirk's fingerprint. Now let's erase all this thing and go back to the energy. The car data has been rewritten. Now that's out of the way. Everything is taken care of. We're going to have to call it quits for tonight. So yeah, that was pretty tense. Not exactly tense, but at least we had some sort of experience. So thank you again for watching my video and I hope you leave a like, comment down below and subscribe and press the notification bell to get notified like I said before. So and we also need that 100 subscriber goal to achieve that. So until then I will see you again in the next video.